guys, so today I am revisiting finger coils. Um, it's going to be almost a year since I have done them. The last video or the last time that I did finger coils was May 15th and we're in April, so we're close enough. Um, I was close to being a year back then and I'm close to being two years natural um, with these finger coils. So I decided to go ahead and do it and this time also show you guys how I achieved this look um, instead of just showing a video or showing pictures afterwards. Um, so hopefully you guys can follow along. All right. So what you want to do is basically have a manageable section of hair. Okay, so obviously right here is my last piece or my last section. And you would want to detangle. Always start from basically the end of your hair and then detangle from there until you get all the way to the roots and you're able to bring your brush or comb all the way through without a problem. So after detangling, put a little bit of the Kinky Curly Not Today detangler leave-in condition in your hair. And I just use this to, to just make it a little bit more manageable and also to kind of hold the curls in my hair. So once you're holding your section, you want to go ahead and take a smaller section and just make sure that whenever you're grabbing a piece of hair, you're grabbing the same size um, every time so that they look similar in size and shape. And you just twirl it around your finger several times. And just do it until you reach the end of your hair and you feel like it's curled. And just let it go. And you get this curl. And just go ahead and keep doing that. And it just curls up on its own. I normally do it pretty fast just because I'm used to doing it. You just twirl it around your fingers, continue to twirl until you feel that the entire section is curled and you let go. But as you can see, I am taking about the same size section, let's see, the same size section every time. And I'm just taking it and I'm twirling it on my finger, coming down some, kind of doubling up like that, and then repeating. So I'm starting up here, pulling it out, going like this, wrapping it around like two fingers and continue to do that all the way down. So, it's pretty quick for me to do it. Okay. So once again, it starts to curl up on its own. And I will try to do it slow again for you. that 
and just continue to do that until you're done with that section. Now, not everyone may get the same results um, by doing the finger coils, just depending on your texture up here, and sometimes even the length. But I find that it's easy to do it with um, short hair, just because you don't have as much twirling to do, like I, like I do right now. Now, if you're having a hard time doing the finger coils, then you can most certainly use a comb. And just make sure you clear it out. Now, I'm just going to do it on a big section of hair, just so you can kind of see how I do. And just twist it, and twist it, and twist it, and twist it. And just continue until you get to the end. And basically, you have a coil. Obviously, this is a large coil because I'm using such a thick piece of hair. But once again, take your comb on whatever size section that of hair that you want. You take your comb, make sure it's detangled, and you just continue to twist, oops, twist the comb around while at the same time pulling. So let's do that one more time. Take the comb, twist. Pull, twist, pull, twist, pull, twist, pull, twist. And you have a coil. But of course you start up at the um, root of your hair. So this is the final result of my hair. Um, I love how this side turned out. This side is okay. Um, I'm not really sure about this side. I think that I'm probably going to freshen it up in the morning with some water and try to shape it some more. Um, when I began with this side, I actually put in a Queen Helene Royal Curl, Curl Shaping Cream. And it's supposed to transform kinks to define curls in soft waves. I've used this several times um, before, but for me it just feels crunchy and I don't like, I don't like the way that, that feels. I've been playing with it for a while so the crunchiness is starting to like go away. But at the same time, it's not as voluptuous as this side is. And I know it can do a lot more. So hopefully tomorrow when I, you know, freshen it up with some water, it will maintain a better shape and not be as flat. Um, but like I said, I've been trying to play with it and help it gain some type of volume right here instead of laying flat. Um, and also, I had forgot that I left in some of my regular Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle conditioner and I had also mixed that with vitamin E oil. So sometimes some products don't really mix well when it comes to oils and other conditioners and I think that would go for Queen Helene's product. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't like the way it felt and I don't like how some of my curls didn't really curl. Nothing happened. So. I did like how the Kinky Curly Not Today worked. Um, I didn't put any, you know, holding anything. This was it as far as the rest of my head went. Hopefully you guys have some wonderful, wonderful results. And you guys can leave some comments below. Let me know how it turned out for you or if you're going to try the style. Or even if you like the style or if you don't like the style. Um, but please feel free to subscribe as well as rate this video. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.